Wild Thing, played by Charlie Sheen, is again taking the mound in Major League Two. But this season, he's pitching more like a mild thing. In the original film, the Cleveland Indians won the division, but winning seems to have gone to their heads. Instead of fighting for the pennant, they're fighting each other. Good news, fans. The Indians are showing signs of life for the first time in weeks. As a matter of fact, they appear to be beating the crap out of each other. Bob Uecker again has the best seat in the house as the voice of the Indians. Among those back for another season are Tom Barringer and Corbin Burnson. Major League Two is rated PG. Catches your eye. Don't you think if you're riding by, it catches your eye? Look good. Very, very good. Joe Pesci is Jimmy Hollywood, someone with big dreams but little talent. Jimmy will do almost anything to get his first break. While waiting for stardom, he hatches a plan to fight crime. I'm going to videotape him in the act, arrest him, and hand him over to the police. The film also stars Christian Slater and was written and directed by Barry Levinson. Jimmy Hollywood is rated R. I love you, my Uncle Martin. <laughs> and I, you, Clinton. Clifford. Clifford. <laughs> Martin Short plays a 10-year-old in the film Clifford. Charles Grodin is the uncle who must take care of him for a few days. When Clifford doesn't get his way, he gets even. Here, here. Here, here. Yeah, here. here. <laughs> the film also stars Mary Steenburgen and Dabney Coleman. Clifford is rated PG. Tumbelina! She's a funny little squirt. Tumbelina! And for the youngsters this weekend, the animated Hans Christian Andersen's Thumbelina. The story of the tiny girl no bigger than a thumb. Among the voices in this Don Blue film are Carol Channing, Charo and Gilbert Gottfried. The music was written by Barry Manilow. With Now Showing, I'm Jack Womack. Every day I'll take you higher. You have the hots for me, I have the hots for him, and sooner or later he's gonna have the hots for you. Uh, sounds pretty hot to me. That's pretty much the plot of the new film Threesome, a different kind of love triangle. It seems there's been a mix-up at the university's housing office. Alex, played by Lara Flynn Boyle, ends up having to share a dorm bathroom with two guys. Stephen Baldwin plays Stuart, a legend in his own mind when it comes to women. Eddie, you have to change your whole outlook on the subject matter. For me, sex, it's like pizza. Even if it's bad, it's still pretty good. Eddie, played by Josh Charles, is still trying to come to terms with his sexual identity. Will you just look at my butt? He is what he is. He doesn't know what he is. He's confused. He's not confused about my butt. The only person who seems happy with the arrangement is Stuart. For him, it's love at first sight. Amazing grace. It's not grace, it's Alex. Amazing Alex, at first, can't stand Stuart. If you don't stop eating my yogurt, and I know it was you, I'm going to kill you. You make murder sound so sexual, Alex. She soon falls for Eddie. I wonder what the story is with you. Why would you kiss me? All may be fair within the group, but when Alex dates someone outside the trio, the guys get a bit protective. It's about his hair. Is it fiberglass or, or steel? And we think that Larry is very scary and hairy. Very hairy. Very hairy. <laughs> so be wary of very scary, hairy Larry. Be exactly. Yeah. Andrew Fleming wrote and directed the film. Threesome is rated R. With now showing, I'm Jack Womack. You talking to me? You talking to me? You talk me? You? Me? In the comedy Cops and Robbersons, Chevy Chase plays a man who's always dreamed of being a cop. He gets to live out his fantasy when police use his house to stake out a neighbor. Jack Palance gets the duty of putting up with the Robertson family. <laughs> Jake, 
I'm sorry my son jumped on you and bit your neck and tried to suck your blood. It happens. The film also stars Diane Weist. Cops and Robertsons is rated PG. She did it. Aimed the car right at Mr. Stubbins and mowed him down. <laughs> Kathleen Turner is serial mom in this black comedy from director John Waters. The Sutpins seem the perfect all-American family. The only problem, mom may be the most dangerous woman around since Lizzie Borden. When someone crosses anyone in her family, watch out. When several people end up murdered, police soon suspect mom. Police Lieutenant Ronald Havler has publicly named a suspect. In the serial killer case, she has been identified as Beverly R. Sutpin of 2815. Oh, really? Oh, God, now I'll never get a boyfriend. Her trial becomes a real circus, with everyone getting into the act. Serial mom t-shirts, get them here. Twelve dollars while they last, plus tax. I'll take two. All right, ma'am. I wish they'd had something like this at the Kennedy kid trial. You read about it in the paper. Serial mom, she's Beverly Sutton, and she's my mom. Serial mom also stars Sam Waterston and Ricky Lake. It's rated R. My grandfather spoke often of the time when the thunder and the earth would be followed by the coming of the wolf. An old Indian legend may be the key to survival for an Alaskan Indian tribe in Disney's White Fang 2, Myth of the White Wolf. The tribe's future is in doubt after a group of white men block a herd of caribou which the Indians depend on for food. They turn to a young prospector played by Scott Bairstow and his pet wolf, White Fang. White Fang 2 is directed by 30-somethings Ken Olin and is rated PG. With Now Showing, I'm Jack Womack. My name is Trickster. Welcome to Brain Scan, the ultimate mind game. Never leave home without it. In the new thriller Brain Scan, Edward Furlong is Michael, a teen who plays a very different kind of video game. And while playing the game the first time, he imagines he murders someone. He discovers there may be more to the game than he thought when the person turns up dead in real life. He wasn't supposed to be real! Real, unreal, what's the difference? So long as you don't get caught. Trickster, played by T. Ryder Smith, keeps coming out of Michael's computer to get him to play the game. The film also stars Frank Langella. Brain Scan is rated R. Well, your claim's worthless without your husband alive. If your laws don't include me, well, then they just don't apply to me either. Four former ladies of the evening are on the run after one of them kills a customer in Bad Girls. The film stars Mary Stewart Masterson, Madeline Stowe, Drew Barrymore, and Andy McDowell. The film is rated R. He's a corduroy, is Drew really? Make noise when you walk. I mean, you, you can start a fire. It's the summer of 1976, and 16-year-old Drew, played by Lorenz Tate, is having a summer vacation he'll never forget in the new coming-of-age film, The Inkwell. The naive teen spends two weeks on Martha's Vineyard with wealthy relatives, where he soon learns the do's and don'ts of the art of romance. Are you trying to break my door down? Hi, I gotta go. Yeah, I have to go too. <laughs> Bye. The Inkwell is rated R. Of course you've heard of the Beatles, John, Paul, George, Ringo, and Stuart. Stuart? The new film Backbeat tells the story of Stuart Sutcliffe, an original member of the group which would later become known as the Beatles. Stephen Dorff plays Sutcliffe, Cheryl Lee, his photographer girlfriend, and Ian Hart as John Lennon. Backbeat is rated R. With Now Showing, I'm Jack Womack.